Yeah, well, fantastic. Uh, There's a quick one. This is a uh, logarithm. Logarithm. Further explanation. Further explanation. Oh, logarithm further explanation. All right. So this question we solved some days back and some of the students want me to break it down once again. So the question says log to the base three x plus log to the x base three is equal to ten over three. Okay. And this question, as you can see, it's very beautiful, but if we compare this one to log to the base to the base ten a plus log to the base ten b is equal to log ten a b. You will see that in this case all the bases are the same. As you can see, the bases in this case, bases in this case are the same comparatively. If we look at our question, yeah, let distinguish the distinctive base that we have. Look at it. We here we have base three, and it's base x. Okay, so how do we solve such a thing? Even compare such an equation. If you compare this one to this, okay, then it's not possible unless we do change of base. We have to do change of base so that our bases will be the same. If our bases are the same, then we can further continue to apply the log logarithm principles. Okay, so in this wise, let's go once again. We'll see that we have log base 3 and a log base 3 to x and log base x to 3. So let's say let um, log base x to 3 to be equals to y. Okay, so that if we change the base, it will help us. So remember, re or recap, okay, recap that if we have log m to t is equals to p, this can be written as t is equal to m raised to the power p. So this property of logarithm, okay, we have always have this. So if we apply this to this, then we can say that we can say that our log to the base x3 goes to y okay we can say that log there's a 3 is here this goes to y we can say that 3 then is equals to x raised the power y x raised the power y yeah so then we take we say take log 3 to both sides. So our equation now becomes the log to the base 3, 3 and log to the base 3, x, y. Okay, bear in mind once again that if we have this, okay, something like that, if you have a to be cause of log of um, m n okay and then this this we can say that a is equals to log n n log m okay so let's apply apply that one to this so our equation now becomes log 3 3 is equals to log 3x. 
So the y comes out here. Okay, let me write it properly. So log three three. This goes to y log three x. But 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 log to the three three. This equals to one. Why? Because log to the base of a and a is always equals to one. So this, because of that, then we can say that this is equals to one, and this is y log three x. Okay, this will help us finally to change the base of our y. Now it's equals to one over log to the base three x. You see, so that is that. That is that. Okay, so now let's go back and substitute this into the equation. Then our equation becomes log to the base 3, okay, x plus 1 over log to the base 3x is equal to 10 over 3. Okay, so let's go up and see. This is the question. So now we have changed this base here. Yeah? So that's the reason why we have the same base. Okay, so let's go and continue. So with that, with this, we can do further substitution. So let's say let's say let log to the base three x to be equal to p. Okay, so if we say that, and this will this will be p plus one over p is equal to ten over three. So let multiply through by um, we have 3p yeah something like that so we ha we're gonna have 3p p out plus the uh, 1 over p 3p is of course a 10 over 3 3p okay 10 over 3 so we will multiply that to both sides of the equation so we're gonna have 3p squared uh, plus 3 and this will be 10 P so then we, we see this implies that 3 P squared minus 10 P plus 3 is equals 0 so as quadratic in as quadratic in P okay so our factors will be 9 3 times 3 that will be 9 so the 9 will be minus 1 times minus 9. That will be the common factors. So therefore, we can say that 3p squared minus p minus 9p plus 3 equals 0. So p out 3p minus 1 minus 3. 3p minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so we have p minus 3p. Sorry. So 3p, p minus 3 into bracket. Um, okay, let me clean this one. 3 minus 3p. So that is well clean. Well, well. Let me create clarity so that we don't get confused. Okay, so now when we come here, we have a p minus 3. Everybody knows how to solve quadratic equation. It goes this. So that we see that p is equals to 3 and the p is equals to 1 third. Okay, this is beautiful. So with this, we should bear in mind that this is not a final solution because we, we substituted p to be equals to um, uh, log, and that's it. We substituted p to be equals to log that. So we got to substitute those values back. So log to the base 3. So we see that log to the base 3x is equals to p. Yeah, so if we say that, then we say that log base 3x is equal to 3, or log base 3x equals to 1 third. Okay, so this, we can say that x is equal to 3 to the power 3 when we convert, and this, x is equal to 3, 1 over 3. Okay, so therefore x is equal to 27. 
or s equals to q root of 3. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the, uh, the true set will be x such that s is equals to um, 3 q root of 3, OK, or Twenty-seven. Okay, so this is the answer. I think it's this is not anything difficult that you know we should go on and on and on. Anyway, I'm so happy you came today to join us in this class. I hope all of you are, are now clear with whatever you know you, you were a bit doubtful of. As I've broken down the question as simple as as it is. So okay, so this is the question, you know, as we made our substitution over here, yeah, we broke it down, then eventually, yeah, everything is self-explanatory, you know, we had this equation, okay, then we'll let P to substitute the log to the base 3x, substitution, and we further have had quadratic equation, and through this quadratic equation, we're able to find final values of p. Then we will further comp recomputation, okay, for as we broke it down over and over, we were able to get it right. So as you can see, here we have this and that, okay, 3 to the power 3, and that, and that. And we all know that we have x. If x is equal to 3 to the power 1 third, that means that is a cube root. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm so excited to have you. Please go down there and subscribe and also share it with your friends so that at the end of the day, you know, all of us will be excited, to, will be motivated to do more. Thank you very much once again. Please subscribe and like the videos so we can do more. Bye-bye.